Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in annually before this season. Chris Sims ranks his top 40 quarterbacks for the upcoming season. And he has completed his list as of today. So I thought we could take a look at it and take a look at some of the major things I noticed. Of course, his list is always scrutinized and uh, this year's will be no different. So let's start with 40 through 16. Uh, so we see the list ends with Jarrett Stidham. Maybe some notable guys who did not make his list include Aiden O'Connell, maybe an Andy Dalton with Carolina. Um, he does list all the rookie first round picks. We see Bo Nix 29th, Jaden Daniels 28th, Michael Penix Jr. 27th, and then Caleb Williams 20th, but he doesn't mention one. Drake May does not make his list. When he did his pre-draft quarterback rankings, he had Drake May rather low. He might have had Spencer Rattler behind him. I'd have to double check. Uh, but Drake May doesn't make his top 40, but Jacoby Brissett with the Patriots does. At 36, man, if Deshaun Watson plays like the 24th best quarterback this season, uh, he would continue being the worst quarterback not worst quarterback, worst contract in football. I mean, the Browns got kind of a Super Bowl roster, so adequate quarterback play could take them really far. And the way they're paying Deshaun Watson, he should be top five, not 24th. I'm a Giants fan. Daniel Jones at 23rd. Honestly, I might take it. Um, you know, we'll see. Malik Neighbors, probably the most talented wide receiver he has with Darren Waller retiring, though. Uh, Daniel Bellinger is the top tight end, not very good. He does list Russell Wilson ahead of Justin Fields with the Steelers. 21st compared to Justin Fields, 25th. Will Levis seems a bit high to me, 26th. Ryan Tannehill, who's not even signed, makes his top 30, 40 at 31. Anthony Richardson had a injury-plagued rookie season, but did look, did show uh, definite adequate play when he was on the field as a uh, duo th dual threat. Uh, Caleb Williams, definitely his top rookie at 20th. I mean, we just saw C.J. Stroud perform quite well his rookie year. Uh, so can Caleb Williams do likewise? I feel like the two fan bases that might be the most mad with his list are Miami and San Francisco. We see Tua at 18th. Brock Purdy at 17th, the very polarizing Brock Purdy. Uh, you look at his numbers, they've really been, let's say, top three to five. Uh, but a lot of people think it's due to the system. We saw him without a Debo, without a Trent Williams, and his numbers definitely fell. Although I would, I would put both of those guys over Baker Mayfield for sure. I mean, Mayfield did perform well. Uh, with Tampa Bay his first season, but <coughs> excuse me, 15 might be a little high. Kyler Murray with Marvin Harrison Jr. Will they develop a connection right away? Gino to me mm, might be a little high. Um, performed well last year, but not as well as 2022. Let's take a look at quarterbacks 11 through 14. He considers this the wild card. So Aaron Rodgers, 14th man. Jets fans also are not going to be happy with that, but he's 40-plus, coming off a major injury. <sighs> kind of hard to speculate how well he will play. Jordan Love, 13th, uh, might be low as to what he did last season. Kirk Cousins, 12th, Trevor Lawrence, 11th. Lawrence kind of with a disappointing 2023 season. Really needs to show out this year because they're probably going to be paying him a ton of money once they extend him. 7 through 10, so 8 through 10, awesome NFC contenders. Hertz might seem low, did not play very well to end the season, was runner-up for MVP in 2022. Dak, um, runner-up for MVP, but um, another disappointing playoff performance for him. CJ Stroud at 7 after one of the best rookie seasons of all time. And I, I can't argue Jared Goff in the top 10. Then his top oops, top six, right here, um, 
the damn okay. Four through six, Lamar Jackson, Stafford, Herbert. I don't know. I mean, I, I there's just something with Herbert. He's got all the talent in the world. Seems like all the intangibles. But man, if he doesn't start winning with Harbaugh, I can't rank him that high anymore. <sighs> Stafford, is he top five anymore? I, I don't know. Um, but who are you going to put above him? Maybe Dak, but you see what he does in the playoffs. I think Jordan Love was kind of way too low. I don't know if I'd have him top five, though. And I can't really argue much with his top four. Uh, Lamar Jackson fourth, then the Unicorns, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen three and two. And then Patrick Mahomes, uh, legendary. Of course, Mahomes should be number one. I might argue Lamar over Burrow. It's tough. I get it. Lamar's had his playoff woes. He did play well against the Houston Texans, uh, but did not perform his best against the Chiefs. But he's a two-time MVP. Uh, but Joe Burrow did make a Super Bowl. So a tough call. But mostly, I want to know what you guys think about Chris Sims. 2024 top 40 quarterback list. Let me know in the comments what you agree with, if anything. I mean, I'm sure most people agree with Mahomes at one. Who did he most get wrong? Who should have been on his top 40 that weren't? I'd love to hear. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.